Hi there people, this is me, Anna Greta again. I, um, I have to show you something. Um, I'm back. Um, I was for a while not, not online because I had, I don't know, several upgrades or some dark nights of the soul, staying on my sofa all the time. And um, you know, when you go the spiritual way, then uh, you have to face uh, the darkest shadows in you. <clears throat> All your fears come up, you get tested. The ego is running wild. What are you doing? Strange things. Uh, go working and marry or something like this. So I had a time of transformation. You know, this January is a time where is a time where, yeah, I think there come a lot of waves from the universe for the ascension process. We will have a blood moon soon. Yeah, why am I hanging so strangely in the video? It's because I want to show you something. Jesus gave me an advice what to do. So. Some time ago he told me to buy a carpet. Can you imagine that? A Jesus telling you buy a carpet. Um, but I did it and I bought a little one, a little, it should be a little one, a little like, you know, like the Mus Muslim people have when they pray. And I bought this, you see, isn't that beautiful? It's little, I hope you can see it all. And, and I love it. It's from eBay, 29 euro. So, and uh, then he told me to, to make a nice um, flavor, what do you say, smell? Uh, with what you, like rose fragrance. So I bought this one. Oops. Uh, uh, I burned my fingers. You see this one and it smells. You can, if you want to attract a man, you should use rose. I, for today, I like citrona. Uh, but today I, to, I took a forest smell, forest, forest smell. So this I put here, then, whoops. Then here I put a picture of Jesus. You know, this is, it's from a gay shop. If you turn around, it's Mother Mary, and on the other side, it's Jesus. We all know he didn't look like that, right? But I like the picture. Okay, then, if we have a wish and would like to manifest our future, then you should take a picture from that, what you wish. And I took just a tarot card. You don't know what I wish. You haven't seen it, but it's my favorite tarot card. I put it here beside that. Put an angel. It's a forest angel. I come from the forest. I, I lived, um, my, our house was always on a forest. So this is made of wood. And uh, yeah, then he told me to, to bring some inspired. <laughs> How did I make that camera so deep? So deep? Okay, he told me to put some uh, books that are inspiring, like this one. Highly recommend it, uh, Making Love to God. I read it once a while, but I still love it. It's good to read it again from Tina Louise Spaulding. And some, some other books that might inspire you and all those that speak to you and that give you power and that have wisdom. Um, you can also put the Course in Miracle, whatever you want. And um, I also can, so the next day I'm going to buy some flowers, for example. And uh, here is my, this is my Simpson angel. He's with me for a long time. I call him the Simpsons. My mother said he looks like a Simpson. So, and here I have my little book where I write down my my inspiration that I get from these, from these um, daily uh, hour. And so I have my little holy corner. It looks way more beautiful 
when I look at it than you see it in the camera. But you know, as soon as I'm sitting here, I feel, I feel, um, as soon as I'm sitting here, I feel inspired. What you see there is not a television. It's it's not a, it's something. It's I don't know. I I never I never look television. Oh no. Yeah. Okay. Here I spend now every day one hour with Jesus, or all the angels. If you want to manifest something, you call probably Archangel Ariel. He is he is very good to help you manifest some things, and um, so here you spend time with what you want to create for your future then um, I spend the time with um, going in a little meditation and I do this for praying and then I ask Jesus to help me to create something or Archangel Ariel um, and then I make a vision a vision for the future with them together and uh, yeah and then I read 10 minutes in my books and so whatever comes in my mind there's one day every day that I spend um, with Jesus or with God and I, I really as soon as I was sitting here on the carpet then I felt the holiness and I felt the presence of the beings I'm connected with in the spiritual side. So this is just um, a, an hour. This is my best hour of the day. I love this hour. I love it. And now I want to ask somebody, probably Jesus, uh, how um, about the effect to make a spiritual corner, like an altar. And as people who do not have so much place, um, or it doesn't fit to the furniture, whatever. This little carpet is so, so, so beautiful. And I love it. I love to sit down here. Okay, now let's see. Now you cannot see my altar. But I showed you. So, okay, let's see what somebody has to say with holy places in the apartment or in the house. I'm the one you call Jesus. Yes, we told Anna Greta to do a little rest as she was speeding up last year very much and she had done a lot of videos. She got a lot of attention. She did her first workshop and everything, everything was overrolling her. So we want her to be an ambassador of us. We want her to talk in our name. So we need to make sure that our mediums that speak for us are in good health and good condition. And from time to time, we do not only with her, but we do with all those who are on a spiritual path. So you, my dears, we do a kind of... Hmm, introspection let's call it in that we do um, an inside view to all those things things that have to be released so this January really indeed is a time where many things get upgraded and many things get brought to the light and that happens with all of you with all of you and some feel several days a bit strange. Some have the feeling that they are weird or lazy or don't get things done. They can't focus and they think it's the January, but it's the quality of this Jan January that makes you feel like that. And don't... 
be mad with you. Don't scold yourself. Don't uh, tell yourself, oh my God, I should have gone out of the bed and until 10 o'clock in the morning I wanted to have done my calculation or my renovation or my uh, shopping or the cleaning of the kitchen, whatever. So don't you do that. Don't you do that, my loves. This is a time of huge change and this is a time of your ascension. So, if you were ill and had a naturally accepted disease, like for example, coughing or a broken arm or whatever, you would give yourself all the time to rest. You would sit down, you would give yourself a tea, you would allow yourself to hang out a little bit, put the, put the broken leg high and give yourself an out time. If your soul has some issues, you almost never give her the out time she needs. Instead, you talk with yourself like your parents did. Now get out of the bed, now uh, get your shit done, uh, put your things together and have discipline, discipline, discipline. Well, that's not how it works. You are all vulnerable souls, creative souls. You are made for you are made for love. You are made for bringing love to your world. And this is your first issue when you wake up in the morning. <clears throat> bringing love to this world is what you came for and nothing else. There is enough boats. There's no need to buy another boat, only if you want dearly. There is no need to create another airplane. There's no need to create another tower in the city. Whatever you could reach with your technology, whatever you could reach with your willpower, will not stay forever. What, what your world needs most is your frequency of love. And the more you get inside, the more you allow the introspection, the more you invite us to help you in your ascension process, the more beneficial your incarnation is on this earth and the prouder you will be when you cross over one day and have a live review. You cannot open a rose with violence. Of course you can take a knife and cut it off and make the roses get out. That's not the way God works. Your soul is like a rose and you give it the time that it needs to unfold. You give it the sunlight, you give it fresh water. You put it in conditions where it can blossom and spread its fragrance. So be patient with yourself. Be loving to yourself. You need it in these times. You need it while the world is a bit shaken. You need it while things on many, many, many levels get rattled and brought to a new, a new state, a new level that is more beneficial to humanity. In this June, in this, excuse me, even Jesus can make a mistake, in this January, 
you will all feel the, the urge of throwing away old burdening things. The January is a month of clearing, of clear blue sky, of fresh air and new year. So please leave as much as you can in the old year and start your new year, which is already 17 days old, use this time, this new year, to become lighter. Lighter in the weight of your being. Lighter in your wishful thinking. Lighter in the things of create, creating what is loving and beneficial to you. Creating is your birthright and your birth ability. If you do not create, you might get ill. You might get stuck in your life. So what we would love you to experience is a more fluent life, a more hmm, a light life. A life where you bring spiritual, loving aspects of the divine day by day and minute by minute into your love, into your life. Use us. We are all there. It's not only me. I know you like me. I'm kind of your superstar but I'm only a part of all the divine consciousness that is surrounding you. Ask God, ask your guardian angels, ask beloved ones that are on the other side. Pray to each entity that comes into your mind, whether it's Buddha, whether it is Mother Mary, whether it is an extraterrestrial being. The more you get in this light frequencies, and I tell you, you will feel it. You will feel it every day a little more. You will feel your consciousness that is more fresh, your awareness that gets crystal clear. My dears, this year I'm not going to leave you alone. I will use this medium and many other mediums to accompany into your lighter and fresher and more loving and lovable life. So we are going to do lots of videos. What she was inspired to show you was proudfully her little altar with her favorite colors, turquoise, and um, all the little things that she can place there. We would recommend you to find a place where you practice your spiritual mm, mm, exercises. Take a little carpet or a little mat or your favorite desk or a beautiful flower corner. Whatever you feel attracted in your apartment, but use that place on a daily basis. Put everything around that you really love, a fragrance, a smell. A beautiful flower, roses or margaritan or whichever you like. 
if you have a loved one that always helped you and that makes you rise your frequency, put it in the corner. Make an altar as beautiful as you can and you will feel the holiness of this place. You will feel that you get easily inspired on that place. You will feel that once it has already created an energy bubble, so to speak, of your highest frequency, of your best person that you can be. Once you have arranged this place, it will lighten up your day. And there you will have your protection and security. And there you will have your connections with the other side. It will make you joyful. It will make you happy. And once you call all your helpers that surround you, your spiritual coaching team, all your guides and, um, and angels that surround you, once you meet with them every day like you meet with your best friends, and you do that every day, then you can start to visualize what you would love to, ex to experience next, or they might even give you inspirations what might be good for you to do next. So do that as a daily meeting point. You will feel the holiness in your house, in your room, in your apartment. And then sit down and make visions. And write them down in your beautiful books. Read a chapter of your most lovable books. Smell the fragrance that you love most and that raises your frequencies. And then we can work with you. We can work with you on a daily basis and lighten up your life and help you out of the darkness and make you fulfill your deepest wishes. That's how we want to work with you. And we would love the place even more than you love it. And we will be there waiting for you until you find the day time for us. And we promise you, this dedicated hour of meditation, make it a ritual. Make 10 minutes meditation or make an hour of meditation. Make notes, make poetry, draw a little sketch. Whatever you feel attracted, read in your favorite book. Pray, visualize and do that on a daily basis. And we all work with you and you will love your life and you will enjoy every hour. And this will be your most joyful hour a day. And so we would love to look forward to create with you a beautiful year, a year of joy and growth. Don't be disappointed when you have a hard day or dark clouds are rising out of your deepest ground. They have to be released into the light. They have to get up from your ground. And the empty space that is left in that place where the darkness was will fill with crystal clear light and joy and happiness. So we will always be with you. We will always help you. We will always enjoy working with you. And we hope you find a little place, a little corner where you are, where you can worship the divine and connect with it and remember who you are, a divine being that's going to bring love and light to this world. I'm the one you call Jesus. And I will be with you every day until the end of time. Bless you. Yeah, that was me here on my little carpet. I wanted to see my carpet. This, I love it so much. Okay. It looks much better when I see it. But, um, okay. So, 
I wish you have a wonderful, a wonderful, a wonderful year with me. I'm doing another video soon. The, the spirits are around me. They want you to wake up. They want to inspire you. They want you to create all your joyful loves, lights, blah, blah, blah. So in three days we will have Blood Moon. We are going to do another Galactic Council of Anna Greta. And this year I'm going to have my first retreat on the River Rhine, under the rock, where beautiful Lorelei was combing her hair and um, so that all fishermen drowned in, in the water, including their ships. Yeah, so this is what I'm going to do this year and um, yeah. Love you very much and see you in the next video. Bye bye.